We'll get right into the stories for today. Um, over the weekend, um, we had the MPP parliamentary primaries. Um, 28 MPs lose constituency seats in the poll. Of course, they will still remain MPs till um, the end of their tenure, but they are not going to come back to parliament after that. We also have um, Yindi MP attacks a city news journalist. Um, then let me just um, add this one to the story. Attacks on journalists. Uh, GGA calls for media blackout on Howard Coomson. So I would want us to look at these three stories, you know, together. Um, so let's look at the those losing their seats, um, and then the allegation um, that um, the sitting MP for Yindi, uh, Farouk Aleo Mahama, um, attacked our journalist here at City, um, Mohammed M. Alabira. Um, we saw footage, we're still investigating, but it's very, very unfortunate that um, people who should, um, who, who, who have their title honorable should conduct themselves in such a manner. Um, and then we also have the GGA calling for media blackout on Howard Kumsin because, again, um, the reports and suggestions are that um, the Cape Coast uh, journalist um, was also attacked uh, by her, some of her people. And, um, of course, she denies that. Uh, but this is what's happening here. Let me start with you, uh, Mensa Thomas. Yes, I want to start from the the GGA issue mm. and then the attack mm. on journalists. Sure. You see, these are very serious matters that we treat with kid gloves in this country. Mm. There is no civil democracy that a journalist should be attacked just by performing their duty. Yeah. It's extremely unacceptable and it must not be entertained. Mm. But consistently, consistently, we see journalists being attacked, maimed. By who? by politicians. My brother, politicians are not the only people that journalists cover. Yeah, it's true. Journalists are there to cover stories, business, the economy, trade, education, healthcare. Politicians are just a one section hmm. of the overall <coughs> coverage that you journalists, you cover, you have. Why is it that nobody attacks journalists apart from politicians? But consistently, you journalists and media houses avail your platforms to these people who consistently attack your people. Why? And that's what they say in Chi. Yeah, they only are, yeah, yeah, fire. If one politician attacks a journalist mm. and the next day all media houses say, look, we are not going to allow any politician on our platform until this nonsense stops, where would the politician go to go and tell their story? And so if we are consistently having these problems, the media houses are partly to be blamed for this. You remember the DJ had issued a directive for a media blackout on Howard Kumsin. Yeah. But on Saturday, mm. when another politician in Yendi, mm. Farouk Alou Mama, was busy attacking mm. your journalists, mm. CTFM, your online platforms were busy carrying Howard Kumsin stories. You were busy carrying Howard Kumsin stories. And so, if this happens, the politician will continue attacking your people. Even right now, you are sitting here describing the attack on your journalist as an allegation. When we've all seen the images coming from the north. 
on that note, we have a, a video actually um, from END and uh, some images of what exactly happened. Take a look at this in case you haven't seen it. And um, in reference to what Mensa Thompson is saying, just take a look. The NPP parliamentary elections in Yendi took a dramatic turn as unrest erupted between Shani Mahama Zakari and the incumbent MP Farouk Mahama. A supporter accused an electoral commission officer of favoring the opponent, leading to chaos and the suspension of the electoral process. Following the alleged unofficial declaration, Farouk Mahama's supporters celebrated in the streets. In response, Shani Mahama Zakari supporters also took to the streets, declaring her the winner. Yes, Yendi is boiling. Aja Abiwa Tamama Shani, his team, they are out to celebrate. Yeah, they are celebrating their victory. That Aja Abiwa Shani Mama is the winner. So, yes, they are also celebrating to signify that Aja herself is in this car. That you can see the vehicles. You can see. Asia Belt and Mama Shani, the Gandu. They are celebrating as, a, as the winner. Yes. Asia is the winner. Nobody can challenge it. She is winning, for sure. Number two, Asia Beta. Manager, Asia for sure. Yes. You can see. Yeni is well and everywhere is Asia. So nobody can stop Asia from winning this campaign. Even if it is scored, we will go. During the turmoil, City News' correspondent and an EC official reportedly faced physical violence. <laughs> The Ghana Journalist Association condemned the attack on City News' Northeast correspondent, Mohamed M. Alarbira, who was a victim of assault during the constituency turmoil. Yakubu Abdul Majid chairs the GJA in the northern region. The report that I had was that Alabira was subjected to severe beating by the MP and his supporters. That we are not happy and that we have condemned it in no uncertain terms. And we will take steps to ensure that justice is safe on that matter. Certainly we have a legal counsel and we're referring the matter to our legal aid department. All right, so you there you saw the live images of the mayhem and chaos that went down there and uh, with um, a portion of that with Alabira. Alabira was the one um, who was in the purple um, top. Um, he was being escorted away from the chaos um, by the uh, police, if you, if you, if you, if you, if you saw that. Um, Mensa Thompson. Poor guy. Mm. What is his crime? Being beaten, subject to severe attack, like a, a common criminal. Yeah. And his only crime is that he went there to cover a story. Yeah. You are doing your elections. Mm. The media is there to cover your, your, the story. Yeah, exactly. They can't change what is going to happen mm. over there. Mm. Their job is just there to tell people what happened over there. It's That's your it. actions, what you do there, that he's going to report on. Mm. That's it. As simple as that. And, and look at how he's being treated. Mm. Look at how he's being treated. It, it's not even two months ago, and one of your journalists was also attacked in the office of uh, the, uh, the NDC. Uh, uh, yeah, Akusia. Uh, Akusia yeah. We haven't even finished that matter. Mm. Yeah. We haven't even finished that matter. And so why is it that consistently politicians are 
oh, the only class of people who abuse journalists, who attack journalists, who disrespect journalists in this country, only politicians. But still, you people continue to avail your platform. The following day, you call MPP, NDC here to come and sit down and make noise again. But, uh, Meza, is it not the, the, uh, the onus is on the police to prosecute those who assault others? investigate and prosecute those who assault others as opposed to saying that media houses I, I i don't disagree with you necessarily that sometimes there are cases where you single out people and and take an action to 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 send a strong signal to them that we will not tolerate this right i agree with you but the law itself is has laid out a way of dealing with these issues when there are attacks, the police must deal with it of and course. send a strong signal that if you handcuff a police, a, 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 a politician, and we see him being sent to jail for attacking um, 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 a, 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 a journalist, they may, they, may, they may now think twice about behaving in that way. My brother, you and I know that's not going to happen. And that's where the problem lies. But that is not the only problem. That's where the problem that lies. That's the only problem. If yes. the police cannot arrest politicians, the, you see, that is just one side. Then are the police really, yes, we know. They're protectors of the society? We know. We know this matter. That ACP Agonjo went to say and got into trouble. We know why the police cannot deal with the politicians when they abuse or they fall foul of the law. We know why politicians commit crimes in this country and get away with it. We know why. Why? But that Why? is a whole discussion on its own. And that's, that, that's going to you know, make us deviate. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying that in the absence of the police doing their job, yeah. you, the media, yeah. and journalists have a sense of duty to protect yourself. And one of the protective mechanisms mm -hmm. that you people can use is to blacklist politicians who attack your people. It's as simple as that. True. If you if you come to my house and come mm. and attack me, mm. whilst I'm giving you the platform to to tell your story, yeah. and and tomorrow I give you the same platform to come and tell your story after attacking me, yeah. definitely you will not stop attacking me. Of course, me. of course. And so the media blackout that has been issued by the Ghana Journalists Association must be taken seriously by all media houses and ensure that people, anybody who attacks a journalist, even verbal assault, should not have the opportunity to sit on TV or radio in this country ever again. And if all you media houses will come together and enforce this directive, nobody will attack a journalist in this country again. Because the politicians need you, the media, more than you guys need them. What do they do for you? You are still the, the poorest paid people in this country. <laughs> Your are service we? conditions are worse. Are, are we? Journalists are the poorest paid people in this country. Uh -oh. The politicians are not even, they are not even uh, enforcing or implementing policies that will even help you, that will even, even develop you, that will uh, even increase, uh, you know, your livelihood. I don't know where you're getting your figures from, but I'm not sure. Are politicians are not one of the poorest paid people in this country? Don't we all know the numbers? They're journalists. Uh, sorry, I said as a journalist. <laughs> okay, but the people Please who are supposed to me. the people who are supposed to protect you, yeah. ensure that you have better conditions of service because mm. you are an instrumental part of the state entity. You play a critical role. You are, that's why you are called the fourth estate. The the the, the executive, the judici the judiciary, the legislature, mm. they are all one of the best paid people in this country. So why is the fourth estate the, the, one of the poorest paid people in this country? And the people who are supposed to ensure that are not doing that. You guys are not complaining. Now when you have a it's about the Then you go and beat the person, you go and attack the person, you go and assault the person let, consistently. Let, let me, let me and go. so you people must come together okay. and ensure. For, for me, I see that this is your response. You guys can solve this problem once and for all. all if right. any politician attacks, even a verbal assault on a journalist, okay. That politician should never have an opportunity to sit on radio or TV or have a story appear in any newspaper in this country ever again. Uh, yes, Kabate. Yeah, I think the, the GGA has taken a good step. Um, just that there's more room for action, but it's a first step action. I mean, having put that, that black light on um, some of the people they, they suspected or they've had complaints or seen videos 
to have attacked you know journalists I, I, I think like uh, my brother is saying about um, you know you remember when I was giving uh, uh, you my best wishes this new year mm. I mentioned what you people go through I mean I, I thought it was very very unfortunate that um, like you say, the same politicians that you promote their work. I mean, they need, the, the mileage you give them, mm. I mean, you can't quantify it. Sometimes they think what they pay is so much enough, but for somebody to be interested in what you're doing in your community and lord everything you're doing, even some of the things you're not doing, there's a media that can bring to your attention some of the things that people are complaining about. Yeah. And if you're a smart politician, that's a point to look at. But um, I think um, it's a good one, spots like, um, Yendi and then Honorable Katie Hammond also had some hot spots. In, yeah, in, I, in, I mean, in some area. of the commentary um, that I heard from yeah, it was um, Katie Hammond is it was talking about um, he will get people to go and beat up yes, it you was, know, it was his opponents and so on. And, yeah. and, and at the point, I think he didn't even understand what he, uh, who he was at the time. Mm. He was actually rather referring to himself as a cabinet minister. Yeah. And, you know, but, but it's in, like I'm a in big that deal. context. And therefoever I can go context, and beat up whoever exactly. it is that. Meanwhile, you're called honorable for a reason. Yes. And mm. in that context, you were a, a candidate. Yeah. At that moment, you were a candidate. Yeah. So, yes, you'll be protected by the. No, but even if, you are, even if you are a cabinet minister, mm. you, in fact, the, the onus on you as a cabinet minister is even higher. Yes. To whom to, much is given, to, much to, is to control yourself. Yes. But I mean, you know, he lost the, 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 the guards. But uh, l let me not take all from him. Mm. You know, but that, that, that man is one person. He could do something that you get really angry. And then on the next strike, he's yeah. back again, making some comments that will make you laugh, yeah. you know. Yeah. So, I mean, I think you should take the positives and, and, and live by it. Now, for the MPP in general, I think um, there were some, that some, some uh, MPs who lost their seats. Yes. 28 of them. I, I, I thought also of the gender issue. I mean, some of the women that have lost their mm. seats. I mm. mean, you know, I don't believe in affirmative action, picking the women and putting them there. So I think you should, you should create you know, that ambience and ensure that they also get the chance to. That does not mean I'll be complacent and think that, look, once the person is not doing well, um, let's just put that on our side and mm. once we have women, let's just put them there. No, I, I thought they also have to fight for the space, you know. So, I mean, seeing my constituency like uh, Domi Kwabina where mm. uh, Honorable Adrasa for lost her seat, I thought it was a good discipline to her. But look, the issue still remain. There's a beauty of our democracy. We've done this for 32 years. Yeah. So, I mean, and it took us the fourth try. First, second, third republic, and the fourth try. So let's jealously protect it. I mean, it's important to look at the worrying spots, the violence in Yindi and other places. Look, let's also uh, uh, praise the beautiful scenes. You know, yeah. on, on the overall, I'll give Ghana's democracy about 70%. Mm. And so, whilst we are striking to get the, the more marks... 70% for still beating journalists. Um, you see, no, but this, you, in context, if but you look, let's if say you look, look at, at other African countries, let's let's, and, let's look at NDC primaries, right? Let's look at MPP primaries, Prime, right? By and large, yeah. they went without incident. Exactly. There were pockets of incidents, exactly. And I think that for me, looking at listening to what Kapite is saying, that's where I see it from. And say that look, yes, there are pockets of incidents that we need to deal with. We need to still address these issues. But generally, they, you know, it is not good. It is not good. We deserve better. No, it, we, we do. Like, I mean, that's, like that's why I said go there's, and there's vote. Room. Look, look, that's why I said you are right. Go and that's, vote. That's why I said there's room for improvement. Go we and need to work on, on, on our go. negatives. What and is then so the, tedious we, about we this? Not that you, people must be fighting scenes. and people must be like, so. like I told you about mm -hmm. Bantama like this. Mm -hmm. You know, I had, uh, you know, early on in, in his victory, the other election, they were singing Bantama and so boy, mm -hmm. you know, that song. And, and, you know, <laughs> and, I, and it stuck in my head all through that side. Yeah. So now, but I think the beauty of it is two contestants heated, mm. but then they were actually singing on one side yeah. to the other side. Yeah. But at the end of the election to on, uh, Mr. Japan crossed over to yeah. on our so, I mean, yeah. that's the beauty of it. Let's look at it. There are some limited agencies like the NCC, National Peace Council. Mm. I, I expect them to come in the face. Yeah. NCC should be seen doing more education. Mm. And they shouldn't limit their education to only the, the voters. Yeah. Some of the contestants themselves. Yeah. Look, a person who has gone through their meal who has won to be honorable, mm. sat amongst honorable members, mm. okay, came out to be slapping a journalist. Yeah. Okay, so, I mean, it means everybody else must be sensitized, right, once again. Protect our democracy.